Hello, good afternoon, pen friends. Um, this is a day that I am never going to forget for as long as I live. Um, so much excitement all at once in the pen mail department. Um, I just uh, posted a video earlier, or by now it, you, it will have been posted, about receiving the Mont Blanc from um, another viewer, Wayne Clarkson. And uh, in the same mail, I received the the uh, winning pen that I won from uh, Larry's uh, fountain pen, Larry the fountain pen bug guy, uh, that I won Sunday from him, the Jim Hines custom pen, the Blue Storm. And here it is. Um, I just wanted to get on here and, and show and, and thank Larry and thank Jim for the pen, um, for this uh, awesome opportunity. I was blown away. I, I'm surprised. I'm in Corpus Christi, Texas. And Larry is up in Fort Worth, and I'm surprised if he didn't hear me screaming. I was so I was so shocked and excited about winning this pen. I just, uh, you know, and and I had no concept really of how beautiful it is. Um, I'd seen Larry's videos, I'd seen the postings on Facebook, um, you know, I had seen those things, but I don't know if you can see. It's going to be an experiment. I had to move from my pen table today over here to. Well, my dining room, because it's dark and dreary and raining, and I wasn't getting any lighting over there, but this pen is just gorgeous it's it's um it's got as much shine and more than than a, actually a crystal and um but anyway, I had to come on, even though this won't be a review. I have inked the pen up, and I've written with it because you know that's what we do when we get pens pen people um and so I, I'm just over the moon excited about both pens. And I wanted to show you, you know, what I'm up to with it. And uh, this is a, a fine nib on here. Um, it's a large pen, but it's very comfortable. Very comfortable to hold. Um, it's not postable, but you don't need it. You don't need it to be. And it does have a cartridge converter in there. And it's nice and secure the way it's made, the way everything um, goes together. It's really secure. Um, this is a Schmidt converter, and I put in um, Robert Oster Lake of Fire. Um, I had several blue to choose from because unknown to me, when I started with fountain pens, I would have told you I was purple all the way. Purple, purple, purple. But the inks tell the story because I have been just attracted to blue inks. So you can imagine how excited I was about this pen, but I kept telling myself the whole time, Chris, you're going to just be happy for whoever wins it. You you know, I'm preparing myself mentally, trying to trying to be okay with it, you know, and thinking about trying, as soon as his website is on, ordering a pen, trying to, you know, saving for one. But um, this is just a little cardboard that I had around because I don't want the pen to roll off the uh, table here. But this is the box that it came in. It's a nice metal box. It's really nice. Um, it just sat right in there with the foam around it. I really like that. Um, let's see, what else am I going to say about it? Okay, so if you don't follow um, Larry's Fountain Pens or Larry the uh, the Pen Bug Guy, you should because he has such interesting things. He's actually gone out to interview Jim and and um, you know show what it's like making pens, and it's it's more. He has more content than I've had time yet. To watch but I I love the little drop down watch later feature because I when I am um, then available I have my list of, of things to watch and I I generally I watch all of, of Larry's videos sometimes when they're longer I have to wait until a time when I have enough time but I'm definitely going to be watching finishing watching the ones that where he went to the actual place where uh, Jim makes the pens and it's in Plano Texas and so it's so interesting to me. I'm I'm here down in, in, in South Texas. So anyway, I um I inked the pen up with the Robert Oster Lake of Fire and I wrote with it. It's a fine nib and um uh, cool, you know, and, and this, this ink is just amazing. I don't know about y'all, but these Robert Oster inks are just um oh they're at the top of my list. They're they're fun. And I just, I, I wanted mainly, the reason for doing this video today is to say thank you both to Larry for sponsoring, you know, for having this giveaway and, and for Jim for providing this beautiful pen and uh, like giving a glimpse inside the world of making pens. It's, I think it's just amazing. It enriches our experience so much. And uh, 
uh, we can we can see you know how it's done, but it's just so unique. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of pe uh, pens in my collection that are unique. I I have mostly pretty ordinary pens, and uh, so this is just really you know I could look at it all day. I think the way it swirls, and I'm sure they're all really unique. I'm trying to see whether you can actually see it. I have a feeling that you really have to see these pens in person. I don't I don't know that our lighting could ever really do them justice is what I think, but there it is. And this was, I featured a crystal just like this um, not too long ago. This is the Lapis Lazuli. I'm probably not saying it right, but it just about, it just blows me away how much similar it is in shading and everything. But that, so I thought I would do a different crystal today. Uh, you know, to feature on this video anyway, just a mini, mini uh, featuring. It's, it's called orange calcite. And you have to be careful with orange calcite because you could harm it. You could scratch it. That's all. Um, so, you know, like with our beautiful pens and our, our important things like that, we, we have to handle this one a little bit more. You wouldn't want to put this one in your pocket with other crystals because you could scratch it. But that's just, okay. So primarily, uh, they're wanting you to, to realize that this crystal helps with confidence, vibrant confidence. Increase the momentum of your spiritual development. Feel happy, grounded, and focused on the highest good. Be discerning and accurate in assessing yourself and others. Strengthen your body and dance gracefully through life. Let orange calcite show you how to unleash your full potential. This particular crystal was one of some that I ordered from Moonrise Crystals. Um, she has an eBay and Etsy uh, shop, and I just really, uh, I heard about her because my friend who had a, a class about crystals had little uh, giveaway bags from this place, and um, she just really carries some really pretty and unusual ones, and she's very concerned with teaching and putting out lots of information on her website so you can learn about the crystals and learn about mining practices and, and good um good practices for the earth as well. So it's a very good company to order from. We we get our, my husband and I get our crystals from multiple places. This was a treat. This was a chance to order one time when I had some extra funds and I did, but I do recommend very much uh, you check her out if you want to, because she has some good stuff. So um, <laughs> I just love this. This is the box. The little uh, logo, and I'm not really sure who did this for Larry, but it's just cute, you know. And so, you know, I covered our addresses just because, you know, we're pretty open about it. But <laughs> still, it's not up to me to give away Larry's address. Um, I looked through several blue samples when I was deciding what to... And I have a different pen inked up with... Uh, I have one of my Twisbees right now inked up with the Blackstone Sydney Harbor, or I probably would have gone with that. But I, I want to, I wanted to use one of the ones that I'm not currently inked up with. It is similar, but there's a different shade there. And I, I, I looked at the Pilot Namiki because that, that's a real possibility too for that pen. Uh, oh, I've got two of the same. Huh, I have two of that. Um, the Navajo Turquoise is always one of my favorites, and I'm not obsessed about matching pens perfectly, but... But I do. I thought, well, I've got that in my little Caveco, and that's kind of where it's landed. Now this, this is uh, really pretty, and it's another Robert Oster blue denim. But what I was thinking was, all I had was a two mil sample of that, so I probably would be disappointed if I, you know, as I'm not really buying ink bottles right now. I need to use what I have. And then another favorite of mine in the blue category is, is uh, the Diamine Oxford blue. So I. And I do have a, a little bottle of that, so I, I considered that. But it was this one, the Lake of Fire, that that I decided to use first in this pen. And I can tell I'll be writing with it a lot. And um, uh, that is pretty much my video. I think I might have talked longer than I planned. But it is, um, I, I separated and did two videos because... Each of these two pens I received today are way over the top range of the pens that I currently have. My uh, top pen, before these two pens came in through the door, the, the awesome gift from Wayne and the winning this winning pen that I won Sunday, my top pen was the Twisby Diamond 580 All. And uh, I love it. I love it. Um, I had been looking to get or to try to save up for a gold nib. And so I now have that in the Mont Blanc. 
And um, uh, I had been looking at pens like this, just kind of drooling. And uh, But oh my goodness, you just have to see it in person. But I did the separate videos because each of these pens has you know, features that are just so awesome in their own right, you know, and different, different, um, special things about them. And, and I'm glad they both came today because I was here, I was here to receive them. So, um, there will be much more coming. I have lots more video ideas and I, I want to get back to, uh, you know, like maybe proper reviews of learning. I'm just learning how to do actual reviews. So I will be back. Um, but I just wanted to share my happiness about this. And I know I like to see videos like this. And so I thought maybe you'd like to, too. So um, if I can stop staring at this pen long enough, I'll press stop. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much for viewing. And I will talk to you later. Bye now.